See this right here? This is the kit lens to my Sony a6100 and I broke this lens attempting to vlog. So many times have I... Oh. So after the 180th fall, I decided to buckle down and to actually start searching for a compact camera. At first, I wanted a film camera, but the way film prices have increased and it's super hard right now to get 35 millimeter like anything. So I canceled that out immediately. And plus I did want to do video too. So I was like, I need a compact camera, but I did not want one that was outdated. But I did want one that was under the price range of $500 because if I'm going to spend $1,000 on a camera, it's not going to be a compact camera. I'm just being honest because who really wants to keep a small camera and then have somebody try to run them out of, of a $1,000 camera? Like that's just me, me personally. So coincidentally, like on my heavy, heavy top search, I was really, really looking for a compact camera and I came across the Sony uh, ZV-1F. Forgot the F almost. So the Sony ZV-1F is a small compact camera with the flip out screen. It turns and everything. It's really cool. Uh, it's a vlogging camera. It's made for content creators, people that do TikTok and things like that. I also heard it's very good for streaming. You can kind of like connect your little HDMI to your uh, TV set or your computer or something like that. I don't know how streaming works, but you can stream on it. It's really cool. So I've heard. Um, yeah, so I really spent the day really just playing with the camera. Like as soon as I got it, I called up some friends and I said, let's let's work. You know, uh, I'm a photographer. I really wanted to make sure that this was photo compatible. Like I wanted to make sure the photos were decent. Um, not too many people who reviewed this camera took photos on this camera. So I decided to go out and link up with some friends and take some photos. So I'm going to start up and show you guys how that went. Should have said this in the beginning of the video but better late than never sony did not send me this camera this is strictly my opinion coming from the consumer's point of view i literally like accidentally pre-ordered this camera like two days before it dropped so strictly consumer i'm not one of those reviewers that you know sony sends the cameras to and they actually review it so one of the most important things that was very important to me when it came to getting a compact camera was imagery. I am a photographer. I wanted something that was quick and easy on the go, not only to do videos, but also to take pictures. Um, so unfortunately, this camera only shoots in JPEG. It does not shoot raw, which kind of hurts because as a photographer, you I don't know about y'all, but I love raw. It's so easy to manipulate. It's so like fun. So I was like this close to like canceling the order or to return the camera and go ahead and get in the uh, Sony ZV-1. No F. Cause it shoots in JPEG and raw. So like that's big for me. Like so I'm I'm in my head like you yeah, look Jody like bro, it's just something small and compact for you to take simple photos and just go. Nothing drastic, no shoots, no nothing like that. So I kind of have to remind myself that when it came to not not just this camera but just getting a compact camera in general. So as for the images, the images came out fairly decent. Uh, again, I had to continue to tell myself, Jody, it's not like a professional, professional camera. So you cannot expect your pictures to come out super crisp. So you cannot expect your pictures to come out super crisp. They do shoot in JPEG. So to me, JPEG is like raw with a little filter over it. So 
low key your photos already edited low key so you don't have to do that much editing on it everything that you've seen i did not edit i just kind of just showed it to you guys because i wanted you guys to see like the footage raw and uncut now i was okay when it came to the images some of the images i was like iffy about so on the first shoot that i did i definitely like took my actual camera to take some photos just in case that the compact camera photos did not come out as good as i wanted to like the whole situation was too good to not bring the regular camera i'm just gonna keep it a buck so um i'm okay with the photos i am like okay i'm gonna keep the camera uh one thing that i am concerned about is the video quality and it's so crazy because every like when i did my research every reviewer talked highly ish of the video the video quali quality so uh i'm cool with it it's okay now i haven't really recorded on the camera too much to give my full opinion on it i was mainly focused on the whole like imagery portion of it because nobody like every single review that i have looked at every single review i've looked at they have not taken any photos so i'm like bro like i'm gonna make a video strictly about the fo the photos like because nobody has talked about it so i'm okay with it it's not like top tier i was not too concerned about it because the lens is dice and dice their lens is pretty good you know it's, it's pretty decent so i was a little bit more comfortable when shooting um when it comes to video quality the video quality was was giving me like cheap cheap uh compact camera like them them sony's cyber shots way back in the g that's like 200 bucks 100 bucks right now or even 60 bucks right now like one of the ones i showed you guys in the beginning of the video uh, is given that quality. Now I have not shot enough uh, like blog footage. I just shot a little bitty one. So I'm gonna show you guys my little vlog footage from today. Um, it's not too much. It's just little clips of my day, what I did today, and you guys can see it for yourself. I'm just not a fan. <laughs> Come on, bro. You got to come in oh, here, son. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This ain't no MTV crib shit. But, Damn, you know, Cootopia, Big Shop, Big Stoke, Black Dennis, Black Dome. Um, this shit uh, hard. <laughs> sure, it's hard. Music is dope, too. I, yeah, I got the look. The right studio, there. that's dope. I like that setup. But yeah, the collection. As you guys can see from the footage that I just showed you, it's literally like some of the images is like, okay, this cool. I can see why someone would want to vlog with it. And then at the same time, okay, no. You know what I'm saying? That's just me, my opinion. Maybe my standards are a little bit too high because I am a content creator with a, you know, decent setup. So I don't know. You guys could tell me y'all opinion in the comment section below but i am still on the fence about keeping this camera now it was making me want to keep the camera and not go with the sony s i keep calling it s zv1 uh is bro like it's 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 like the frame is little and and you know like if i'm shooting videos or if i'm shooting me and my friends i would like to see all of us not just like this portion of us so that's what's making me lean towards the sony um zv1f so it really depends on the person who has a camera the camera is extremely light it feels lighter than your iphone like it is it feels cheap i'm just not gonna lie to you but uh the quality is is decent like me personally 
Do I think that is worth 500 bucks? 548, that's with tax. Um, I don't know. I think you can get a decent, a better camera. Me personally, if you do some searching, like on eBay, you could probably get a better camera, a better setup for that price. But I don't think that the camera is worth what I pay for it. I feel like the camera is worth like four thirty three hundred in that frame, but nothing more than that. So the price range is decent, but I can see what why they made a profit over it. But um, that's really all I have to say about this camera. I will be using it a lot more. You might see it in some of my videos. I may not tell you I'm using it, or maybe I might. But that's really all I have to say. I've only had the camera for 48 hours, less than that. So I'm going to shoot some vlogs and do some things with it. And I got two weeks before I can return it. So I'm going to let you guys know if I kept it or went ahead and, and, and got another camera. But if you guys do want to see my vlogs with this camera, make sure you go to my other YouTube channel and subscribe to my vlogging channel. Uh, I have not really been that consistent, but I am going to be a little bit more consistent with that channel. Uh, it just follows me and my life after graduating and my growth over time. So I think that would be really cool, especially if you guys are, you know, I don't know. If you guys are interested in what I do and how I do it, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, but that's all I have to say right now about this camera. Maybe in a month or two, I'll kind of give a full, full, full overview on it. But I want to get a quick, um, I want to do a quick review on it, especially when it came to the imagery, because that is so important to me. Like photos are so important to me. If I can't take pictures on it, it got to go back. I'd rather shoot in 1080p than to get shitty photos. No cap. I'm out. Peace.